touch me again, it. sir, and I'll complain to your man. I'll get you deported. I'll get you deported back to your own country. I know you're not from here. I know it's not racist if I say it because I know you're not from here. <laughs> you told me you're not from here. Yeah, yeah. You told me. You told me you're from where the picture is from. Yeah. <laughs> I've become friends with like all the waiters at the Chinese restaurant uh, below me. <laughs> I, th I thought you were going to say I started going out on a lot of dates. I mean... <laughs> Emily K with, I made friends with the people that are the closest people to me. I see them twice a day when I order food from them. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. I'm now friends with like Asian uncles in their 50s who are working in the Chinese that's restaurant. That's the energy you give off. You know? Yeah, yeah, that's true. I don't know if they want to marry me or if they want to like father me. <laughs> They probably want but their children like, to marry you. you might, yeah, that's nice. Yeah. That's very nice. What do you guys talk about? What's well, the topic du jour for 50-year-old? It's very Asian uncle. It's very like, oh, what are you doing here? What are you working with? How long have you lived here? And they're very impressed that I live that centrally because I live right above that restaurant. So they're like, oh, okay. So now it's like they know me by my Chinese name as well. Ooh, say it for so, our listeners. My Chinese name is Mok Yu Ling or Mo Yu Ling. Um, mm -hmm. But my nickname is Ling Ling. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I booked a table there the other day for me and my housemates. We were having a, like a reunion dinner. And I was like, oh, yeah, like, uh, uh, can I get a table for six for Ling Ling? And they're like, oh, it's you from upstairs. And I'm like, hey. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. now they call me Ling Ling. And now <laughs> they did it in front of my white friends. And now they all my white friends make fun of me. <laughs> Because it's like Ling Ling is like so basic. It's like the name that people use to make fun of Chinese people with. That's my name. Like that's my actual name. You've lived under the white gaze for too long. <laughs> when you say Ling Ling, I'm like, yep. I did, it didn't even occur to me that white people would make fun of you for that. But it's, it's really fun though. I feel really great about being friends with them. Because it's like I walk past there a lot because I go to the store and stuff. And they're always like, hey, hey, what are you doing today? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. They're like, you're going to come down? I'm like, yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> and then... Do you eat in the restaurant or do you make them deliver it to you? Because that's the, <laughs> that's the ultimate... <laughs> Ultimate. Diva move. Yeah, I know. Hey, it's Ling Ling from upstairs. Can you come up now? <laughs> Can you send me the starter, main, and dessert in three trips? Yeah. You know? <laughs> oh, oh, actually, one of them, I think, likes me too much. Oh. Because he just, like, one day, I don't know if this is, like, you know, innocent Asian uncle thing, but he stood too close and he touched me a little too long, like this. Mm. And I was like, this is making me so uncomfortable. Listen. And so I've shunned him a little bit. And it's awkward now. It's awkward now between us. Can we flash back to last week? Shing! <laughs> So, you know, these things come out and then like I'm talking to people. And I'm like, whoa, I had no idea. And they're like, yeah, everybody knew. Like he hit on everybody. And again, I'm like, he never hit on me. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> it was you last week. <laughs> that was a joke. Oh. <laughs> so do you want to be touched or not? What, what, not what do you him. want? <laughs> not by him. Not by a 50 year old Asian uncle. Listen. If you know how to prepare duck, you will have the most tender hands, you know? He's been cutting, chopping up duck and crispy pork belly. It's Xi'an cuisine, so it's too spicy. So it would, it would be too spicy. It would hurt. <laughs> Where is he touching you? At the restaurant. No, Where just is he my touching arm. You? Just my oh. arm. And I'm like, this is too overly familiar, please. It's weird. Some Asian uncles are just a bit touchy. Okay? No, but that's not good. That's not... It's okay, go me to him then. Go me to the Asian uncle in the restaurant. I just ignored him. <laughs> <laughs> go tweet about with, him. I'm friends with all the other ones, but I've ignored him. It's a, I get a weird vibe off him. Do you think he's single or married? I think he's single. I don't see it. Really. <laughs> they can't wear rings in the restaurant. I'd be like, uh, it's not hygienic. I think he... I don't know, actually. Maybe, maybe he's not getting a lot of action from his wife. Can probably. you blame him? Yes, I can blame him. <laughs> yes, don't take out your sexual frustrations on women. Please. Okay. Is there any <laughs> level of acceptable touching in a restaurant? No, not by the people who work there. If they don't touch your customers, why would you touch your customers? On the shoulder, you know, hey, good to see you. No, that's not. Some, I don't some, think it's okay. re some restaurants do that to me. I'm like, hey, good to see you. Good to see you. And then just, you know. Well, it's because you're a dude, so you don't feel, you're like, okay, you don't feel weird about it. Yeah. As a woman, I feel very strange about okay, it. Okay, I get it. I get it. Don't don't touch Evelyn. Don't touch Ling Ling when she buys a Chinese <laughs> don't food. Don't touch Ling Ling. Yeah. 
Don't touch Ling Ling. <laughs> Nobody touch her for eight years. Don't start. Don't start. <laughs> Maybe he listens to the podcast and he's like, yeah, nobody's touched for eight years. Let me show oh some fatherly God, vibes. Please, please Nigel. <laughs> Do you think they listen to the podcast? No. You know. That'd be really funny if they played them. the podcast yeah. on. Actually, if you should go with me, they would recognize you, I think. I would. Roger. Then he can touch you. I'm going to say, yeah. touch Uncle Let's Roger. Let's see if he touches me like yeah, he touches yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Because right? if he touches me the same way, then he's just, you know, being yeah. friendly, you know? Yeah, but. Also, stop it. Stop it. Don't <laughs> touch women. Don't touch women. I'll go to a restaurant where you yeah. touch. And then I want to see Asian uncles touch. Ooh, I want to see the Asian uncles touch like the the the, the entitled white women. You know, <laughs> <laughs> the Karen types. See what they say, you know. They know that they can't get away with it. So really? that's why they don't do it. That's why they do it to me. That's why they do it to Ling Ling. <laughs> You need to get some Karen energy into you. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I need to. I need to. Touch me again, to- sir, and I'll complain to your man. I'll get you deported. I'll get you deported back to your own country. I know you're not from here. I know it's not racist if I say it because I know you're not from here. <laughs> you told me you're not from here. Yeah, yeah. You told me. You told me you're from where the picture is from. Yeah. <laughs> That's awful. You should do. It's not racist if you say it. You know. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Oh my Touch God. me again and I'll send you back to where I'm from. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> where my father left. Yeah. So I could have it better. <laughs> I know how bad it is there. You don't want to go back there. Listen, I'd much rather be sent to Hong Kong than Gothenburg, though. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true, isn't that's it? That's true, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, wait, don't send me to where you're from, please. I don't want to be a refugee in Gothenburg. <laughs>